Hey there, fitness family. Happy Friday. Uh, we are finishing up this week of workouts with a little something called Fever Pitch. This is a simple but highly effective couplet of movements. We have some double dumbbell clusters and some 200 meter runs. The clusters are a weightlifting movement. Uh, we'll have a descending rep scheme here, right? 10, 9, 8, all the way down through 1. After each set, we'll be performing a 200 meter run today. So. 10 clusters, 200 meter run. Nine clusters, 200 meter run. All the way down to the end, last thing we do is one cluster and then one final 200 meter run. Doing this entire thing for time, right? Probably 20 to 25 minutes or so, I would say. So, first off, get your 200 meter run mapped out. If you haven't done that already, it should take about a minute or so on average. Uh, and then your weight. So the double dumbbell cluster, also known as a double dumbbell squat clean and thruster, whatever you want to call it, weights start on the floor, they get cleaned up to the shoulders, drop down into a full squat, and then stand up and press overhead. I'll demonstrate this for you in just a moment. But this can be done today with any variety of weights, whatever you have at home. Uh, I'm going to post some stuff in the programming notes, so check that out for variations. It can be done with two dumbbells, a single dumbbell. If you only have a barbell, barbell works. This can be done with a med ball, slam ball, odd object, any number of things. Like I said earlier, this is a highly effective movement. It's got some pulling, some pressing. It kind of basically works everything. Great movement. Um, so any any kind of weight we'll use. Uh, something to think about when you are pacing today is this is a very front loaded workout, right? So 10 down through 6 is way, way, way more than half the workout. By the time you finish up that 6 right there, I believe you've done about 40 reps or so. Yeah, 40 clusters at that point. And then when you start your 5, you actually only have 15 to go. So the reason I bring this up is because... 10 down through 6, we're going to look for a kind of a slow sort of steady pace, probably taking some breaks in there, right? Uh, I would expect that you probably, you know, if your weight's heavy enough, you're not going to be going unbroken on the 10, the 9, the 8. These are big sets, probably taking at least one break in those, right? So sort of a slower pace. And then also keeping in mind for that, your 200 meter run should not be all out you know, sprints either. Think about going a little bit slower on this first half of the workout, just so you can come in from your runs and get right on moving those weights around at a, you know, consistent pace. And then also the last part of the workout, once we hit that set of five, we can think about kind of speeding up at least one of the two stations, either the clusters or the run, because we don't have that much further to go by the time we start that set of five. So choose one of your two stations, either the runs start going faster or the weights start moving faster on those. So slow and strong and steady at the first half or the first part, I should say, 10 through 6, and then speeding up at least one of the two stations from 5 down through the 1. Okay, let me demonstrate some movements. Okay, so our clusters for the day. Two dumbbells as written. Weights are uh, on the outside of the feet, of course. Make sure your feet are flat on the floor. We only have to touch that top part of the bell to the floor at the bottom. We drive up hard with the legs and hips, catch it on the shoulders, full squat at the bottom, and then drive it all the way up. Bring it back down and re-tap. Tap the bottom, legs down the hip, squat, and press. Double dumbbell clusters. If you only have one dumbbell, this can be done uh, with one dumbbell. Just switch hands each and every rep. Only difference here, and for other variations, the weight's going to actually be between the shoes as opposed to on the outside. So with these, single dumbbell, both heads of the bell touch the floor uh, between the feet, go up to shoulders, squat, and all the way overhead, switch hands, big deal. Shoulders, squat, press. If you have an odd object, this can easily be done with a medicine ball, slam ball, backpack, whatever, but same idea. Weight is now between the shoes, right? Directly between the shoes. We just bring it up to the shoulders, clean, squat, press. Right back down to the floor, clean, squat, press. It works pretty well. Things to think about today, contact. So with our dumbbells, we want to make sure we have good contact with the bell and the body. 
It's a nice firm grip, a lot of contact with the hand and the bell. Um, at the top, when we catch these, try to get really good contact with the uh, bells on top of the shoulders. We often see people where the bell's kind of sliding off the shoulders or it's kind of hanging off the back. This makes it harder to stand up with out of the squat, and it really makes it harder to press them up overhead. So a lot of contact. Get those bells in, firmly planted on top of the shoulders. And then while you're running today, the exact opposite of that. We want very little contact or a very short amount of contact time with the feet and the ground. As we run, right, we want to immediately lift that foot up. As soon as that foot lands, pull, pull, pull. So your posted leg, your weight bearing leg, it lands and immediately comes back up. So we're very light on our feet, minimal contact time as we run. I've mentioned this a few times, run, light feet, Direct underneath the body, let your body like pull you forward, right? As little contact with those feet. Pretend that floor is like really hot. So the ground, I should say, is really hot cement. You want to be very quick. All right? Get after, guys. Double dumbbell clusters, 200-meter runs. You're going to love it. Have a great weekend.